Warmer temperatures are on the way. I'm student meteorologist David Wynn with a look at the upcoming week. We'll first take a look at the latest advisories currently in effect, and we can see that freezing rain advisories are currently in effect across the eastern parts of the state while they have expired across western parts of the state due to the freezing rain that moved through during the early morning hours but has now begun to taper off as that precipitation is now pushing off the coast. We'll take a look at a live view of the Arboretum and you can see that right now we do have partly cloudy skies with a temperature coming in at 36 degrees. It also feels like 36 degrees, the dew point is 32 and winds are on the calm side. So now that we are beginning to see that sun, it is certainly feeling very comfortable outside given that we have not been exposed to these warmer temperatures for quite some time. We'll take a look at the temperatures across the rest of the Commonwealth and you can see that back in western parts of the state, we have temperatures in the upper 40s with Pittsburgh coming in at 48 degrees and that is due to the warm front that is currently moving across the state. But back in eastern parts of the state, we can see that Philadelphia is much cooler with a temperature of only 36 degrees and Allentown and Scranton coming at 34 degrees. But as we do head through the afternoon hours, that warm front will continue to progress and those temperatures will continue to climb. We'll take a look at the latest radar and satellite image and you can see that the freezing rain that moved through during the early morning hours is now beginning to push off the coast with a few showers still lingering across southeastern parts of the state. But if we take a look at the eye on the future, as we head through the rest of the day, we will see those clouds break with overcast skies across northwestern parts of the state. But on Thursday, showers will move through the region. The clouds will continue to hang over the entire region. And on Friday, that is when we do begin to see a heavy squall line march across the region and will even get stronger as it works its way towards Philadelphia. So expect a period of heavy rain and even some strong gusty winds as we head through the afternoon hours on Friday. But on Saturday, we are looking at a gorgeous day as most of the region will experience mostly sunny skies. Now, we do have a major problem since we are experiencing warmer temperatures and periods of heavy rain in a short period of time, and that is the latest snow depth that we currently have in place. Notice that in State College, we have 16 inches on the ground, while in Allentown, we have over two feet of snow. And this is a major problem since a lot of the snow is going to melt in a short period of time, and this will result in a major flooding threat as we begin to see those rivers rise above flood st stage with those temperatures above freezing and the heavy rain that will move through the region. We'll take a look at your forecast for this evening and expect partly cloudy skies with temperatures dropping down to 25 degrees. But as we head into tomorrow, expect showers throughout the day with a high of 43 degrees. And we'll now take a look at your seven day forecast. And you can see that as we work our way into Friday, expect more showers, especially the first half of the day. But notice that temperatures continue to warm up into the mid 40s as we work our way into Thursday and even warmer on Friday with a high of 47 degrees. But on Saturday and Sunday, we are looking at a gorgeous day with temperatures in the mid 40s on Saturday and a little cooler on Sunday with temperatures in the upper 30s. But on Monday and Tuesday, we cool things down even more with temperatures around 30 degrees. That is all that I have for today. For the Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist David Wynn. Have a great day.